Hello YouTube, this is Glenis from Craft Room Secrets and I'm here to share with you my latest completed project is a Graphic 45 Vintage Hollywood album and I did it, uh, use the uh, 12 by 12 uh, paper collection from Graphic 45 uh, Vintage Hollywood also had um, the sticker sheet from the collection and the femoral card um, this album measures six and a half by eight and a half and it's made out of chipboard and it has a coordinating box that I just altered this is a box that I have from packaging and I just alter it um, for me to be able to store my albums uh, to store the album inside let's start with the box the box is uh, measure um, a little bit bigger than six and a half I think it's six and three quarter by eight and three quarter just a, a quarter inch larger than the album and I use the amazing papers from the collection this collection is hand downs one of my favorites uh, the images of this of the collections are uh, you know gorgeous I am um, a movie fanatic <laughs> I like to watch movies especially old ones and um, this uh, box is um, like I said made out of chipboard and I just you know use coordinating papers from the collection I use magnets um, to be able to you know hold uh, secure and this ribbon uh, black ribbon I, I just added it as a decoration but it doesn't hold the box in place uh, of course a lot of fussy cutting for the front um, I did use some um, also metal embellishments in the corner and I did a few uh, cuts uh, from this gold glitter paper some stars in this uh, little um, kind of frame uh, for the vintage Hollywood sign everything is mounted on the chipboard so it's uh, really sturdy and of course some later uh, images from the collection so this is the uh, completed box and the album fits exactly inside of the box like I said like I did alter the box uh, on the size of the album let me show you now the inside of the album and for this album I did one a little bit uh, over so uh, a lot of flips and flaps and uh, this is uh, the front cover um, the front cover I use the image of this couple that is embracing and this for one of the ephemera cards and I use this um, this is one of my dies and I just use the same glitter paper to do like a kind of a frame uh, around the couple and everything is mounted on chipboard of course coordinating paper from the collection and just a black spine when you go inside this album like i said it has a lot of interactive pieces uh, for the first side even in the cover in the first side i have this um pocket that i um you can use uh, to store extra photos or ephemeral cards uh, first pocket in the front and then in here i'm holding um this is a graphic 45 policy policy envelope that i just altered to match the collection for extra photos and then this um, insert and it's blank because I want to put five by seven photos in, in here and this pocket of course is really deep you can put extra photos if you want first uh, page is a flap that is also a hidden uh, pocket you can see those gorgeous images from this collection this collection like I said is hand down one of my favorites and um, I was kind of a little bit <laughs> overwhelmed when I started working on it because I love it so much I didn't want to mess that up but as soon as I started working and coordinating my papers everything you know uh, came out um, it, it was completely really uh, fast um, you can see I use a, a few pieces of other items um, I mean gl a glitter paper just to make it you know more glamorous um, this one um, is another flap second page and I use a lot of the images from the collection and just use them as a kind of pockets to hold even photos or the gorgeous ephemeral cards from the collection and then this will open like this um, once again I took advantage of this uh, vintage uh, photo in here and then use it as a pocket to add uh, you know more uh, of those um, you know to put pictures 
and ephemera cards also. And I use uh, black cardstock as a base, uh, and black and cream cardstock as a base uh, for the album. I did took a lot of those uh, ephemera cards and I cut out the uh, images from the inside. I make I made um, you know frames just to be able to put photos on it. And this one you have another. Uh, flap that opens like this and it has another place where to add uh, more pictures in here and you can insert four by six photo in this one and of course the pockets are deep so you can actually add more if you want to the next page we have uh, this big pocket that has a complete insert and in this one I want to put six by eight uh, pictures and I can also add more uh, inserts if I need to later on. Like I said, the pockets are deep, so they fit all the extra photos. Another photo here, and you can see all the gorgeous images from the collection that uh, remind me all of those vintage movies that I love. These are uh, the hidden pockets that you can put extra photos. Or journaling and here we have another page and this flap is a flap that opens like this in three pieces and it says light camera action like they said on the movies also flips again to the side and you can put pictures in the back and it covers like this and all of those flaps and inserts I did use uh, magnets so uh, they're magnetized so they close you know securely they don't you know they don't, after you put, you know, stuff, it doesn't fl uh, flip open. Another pocket here to add more pictures. Another pocket here. So I have a lot of interactive uh, pieces where I can put and insert items. And this album, I'm gonna use it for a dinner party that I'm planning to do. At the end of the month, um, I'm gonna do like a Oscar viewing party for my friends. We all love movies, so I thought that this album was perfect for that. And I'm also planning on using the same leftover from the papers that I have from the collection to do the decorations from the party. I'm probably gonna do another um, blog post for that and show you pictures what I did. Uh, in this one, we have another big uh, pocket here with one of those you know, cut uh, frames from the ephemera cards uh, to put pictures. And this is a big, big flap where you can put, you know, photos, larger photos. And then, of course, you know, the um, like pocket holds more in here. Another little pocket here. And all of the ephemera uh, cards, you know, they're just glue, on, uh, has adhesive on the side. So you don't have to, uh, you know, if you want to put your pictures on there, you can still do so. Then the next page is this page uh, here that I did alter another one of those frames add papers from the collection and some images and this one is magnetized and it closes and opens like this revealing uh, more uh, beautiful pages and um, I only had the 12 by 12 paper but I, for some reason I thought that I had the 8 by 8 so I was running out of uh, you know coordinated papers so when I do that I just use uh, this paper that is from Yuan, I kind of use uh, do that when I'm. Um, I think it matches a lot of uh, the Graphic 45 collection. So in here, at the end of the album, I have to kind of use those papers to finish out the album. Um, this is one of the ephemera cards, a three by four, of course, uh, fussy coated images here and there as decoration. This is the last uh, page of the album, and you have another pocket here where to put more photos and a big space where to put photos. I tend to take a lot of larger photos so that's why I have to leave sometimes space just to put my photos on it. And of course the album uh, fits inside the box and um, I like to do that uh, because not only protects it, uh, it's easy to store. Oh I forgot to show you guys uh, at the top I did this kind of flap. I wanted it to look like kind of a vintage trunk. <laughs> 
uh, and I just used um, two brads right here folded um, this is just made out of um, cardstock uh, and then I use the Sandus's Hollywood right on the top just to uh, fold the top of the album for the top of the box um, I like it um, the box uh, when it sits on the shelf is gonna look like a little trunk and I love that even if I store it uh, sideways you know it's gonna have this all these images that I can see it on the side so I wanted to show you guys my latest completed project and this is gonna be on the blog of course more pictures um, hoping that you guys liked it and this was Glennis from craft from secrets showing you my vintage graphic graphic 45 vintage Hollywood album thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions just leave them down below thank you and have a great afternoon